everyone, Andrew Power here. Now I just wanted to quickly show you guys how you can use IFTTT. Now I'm over at IFTTT.com, which is if this then that is what it stands for, and I'm already logged in. I'm just going to show you quickly how you can make a task. Now the task I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to ezinearticles.com, and what I want to do is be notified of anybody who's posting new articles in a particular um, subject I should say. So uh, I'm going to have one that uh, that interests me which of course is small business. So I'm going to click on small business and when I've chosen the category you'll find over on the right hand side there's an RSS feed. Now all I want to do is copy that RSS feed location. Now I come back to ifttt.com and what, because you're logged in all you have to do is click the word this and then you select what you want to use as a trigger. Now, you can use all sorts of things. You could have phone calls coming in, stocks hitting certain levels, um, anything you can use your imagination. And you've got quite a few choices. You know, I could have somebody who posts a new video on YouTube and have that as a trigger. Now, the trigger I want in this particular instance is feed. So I'm going to click feed. And it comes up with new feed item or new feed with matches. Now, if there was a particular keyword I wanted articles on, um, such as, you know, uh, marketing for small businesses, then I could use that as a keyword. But I just want to see any new articles at this point. So I'll click new feed item. And then I will paste that feed URL I got from Ezine Articles directly in there. And, uh, and you can see it's just in there. We click create trigger. And that's now got the trigger. Now it's got the that highlighted. I can just click that. And if I want to, I could have it automatically pasted on Facebook or Twitter. So if you have a Twitter following and you don't know where to get content, you know, often new articles that are related to your um, niche is a great content. But in this case, I just want to be notified via email. So we click email, send me an email. That's what I want and it automatically has the template fed in. Now by default what ifttt.com will do is it will use the email address specified in your account when you sign up. So make sure that that's a real email address that you can receive emails with uh, regularly if you want to be sent emails and I just hit create action and just give it a description which will be uh, I'll just call it ezine small business to email. I hit create task and I am done. Anytime somebody posts an article, as you can see I've already got a couple set up here, anytime somebody posts an article to the small businesses section it will automatically be emailed to me. Um, and you can't do anything as simple as that. Look. You can you can add in other things such as you know going to LinkedIn and and getting information from LinkedIn. Somebody, for instance, um, posts something new on their profile, automatically let you know so you can go back and check it out. It's great for keeping tabs on uh, what your competitors are doing and what's happening in your industry. But uh, other than that, enjoy ifttt.com. This is Andrew Power, hoping you have a great day. See you later.